Okay, so uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Luca, and I'm a member of uh, Fluxfinger CTF team as well as Niklas and Benjamin. And now we are just want to uh, give you some information about the CTF uh, that took place um, from yesterday, 12 a.m. Uh, to today, 12 a.m. Um, yeah, so just some fun facts about the CDF. Um, we had 739 teams that registered an account, and only 574 were able to activate them. Yes, this, this had two reasons. First, they forgot. And second, I think the most important one is because we had an HTTP 500 on our server. Yeah, we needed to activate most of the teams by hand. And so maybe this is one of the reasons uh, why two, about 150 teams were not, were not activated because they missed our uh, announcement to um, tell us that their account is not activated so that we can do it by hand. And of these 574 teams, only 220 actually participated in the CTF and solved at least one challenge. So, yeah, it's like about a third of all teams that registered. Um, in total, we had 644 um, solves of challenges, uh, and um, we <laughs> uh, we uh, captured the network traffic. And at the end, we had 13 gigabytes of traffic dumps. And I think this is a lot because we did not have many services that uh, needed interaction with the server. So um, yeah, 13 gigabytes is uh, a lot. Yes. Um, before we get to the actual result of the CTF. I need to tell you something about our bonus point system. Uh, we invented a new one. Uh, compared to the last year, we also allowed bonus points below zero. So we had a range from minus 100 to plus 100. Um, this has nothing to do with how fast or how efficient teams solve the challenges. This is just uh, in case we uh, ranked our challenges wrong so that we can dynamically adjust the points. Um, I had, I have two um, examples, like Call of Cthulhu. Uh, we rated these, this challenge with 350 points, so that's about 60% um, of the teams should solve it, or 50 to 60%, and actually only one team was able to do. Um, so we need to get, uh, we need to set the ranking higher, and we added another 100 points. And on the other side, uh, we had this simple PDF challenge, and we thought um, that about 80 to 90 percent of the uh, teams were able to solve it, and actually about 95 percent were able. So we needed to lower the points, and this is why we get uh, negative bonus points. Okay, now the, inter the actually interesting part: the prizes. Uh, we will start with the local teams because there is some differences compared to the international teams. And the third place this year will go to Kiosek. Congratulations. Is there anyone for getting the prizes? Okay. Okay, so then, yeah, then get your prizes. <laughs> Congratulations again. So the second place this year goes to Zero Day Sober. And I know there is no one to get the prizes because the local team member had to get his uh, airplane and he left about two hours ago, so we had to hand him the prizes a bit earlier. And uh, yeah, so we just need to skip them um, because they already have their prizes. But also congratulations if the, maybe they're watching the video afterwards. Yeah, and the first prizes this year go to LCBC. Congratulations. And um, maybe sh someone should get your box for this. Okay. 
Uh, so this was uh, local teams. They were eligible for the prizes and just uh, to have everything on the screen, uh, we also have the international uh, top three. And this is uh, Eat, Sleep, On, Repeat, uh, CS16 and uh, LCBC, who also won the international contest. Congratulations for this again. And we also have to do a special mention this year because we had the old t-shirt contest. Um, the idea was just to gather all Hackley shirts you can find. And we had team, yeah, this team. Um, and this is the only team that was able to collect all uh, 10, 12, 13, 13 t-shirts uh, of uh, Haklu. So from 2003 to 2016, I guess. So congratulations for this. <laughs> okay. um, yes, so that's all. I th and thank you for your uh, attention and hope you see you next year.